All right, so in your notes, you took some information down about transform boundaries. And I wanna go ahead and show you some information about the San Andreas Fault. It's a pretty famous um, transform boundary in the United States. So if you look, we're gonna come over here. So you'll notice that part of California is on the Pacific plate and the other part is there on the North American plate. And the part of California that is on the Pacific plate is moving Northwest um, pretty quickly. And so this is the past, five million present day. Now we're gonna go into the future and we can see that it's continuing to move um, northward. And so all of these right here, those are little earthquakes that are occurring from this plate slipping past. You can see Los Angeles and San Francisco in the future will be much closer neighbors. Here's another picture of this. You can see there's no up and down motion. This is just simply slipping past each other. All right, so then I wanna also show you, you took some notes on convergent boundaries. So, right, convergent boundaries are plates that collide. And I wanna go ahead and show you just an image of, or a, a animation of some of these things forming. So when ocean collides with ocean, we get things like the Caribbean islands. So ocean colliding with ocean. Okay, we're gonna go here to where the South American plate is colliding with the Caribbean plate right here. And obviously over here on the right, we have the older, colder, denser ocean floor being subducted. Here we're forming a trench along the top. This is a subduction zone. And then as this melts, it's going to create some volcanoes on this overriding ocean lithosphere. Now, because those volcanoes eventually pop out of the water, we call them island arcs because they make islands in the ocean. So this is ocean colliding with ocean, always older, colder, denser one will be the one that is subducted. Now, what happens when an ocean collides with a continent? Again, notice these that I'm clicking on are all underneath convergent boundaries. They're all types of collisions. So I'm gonna click on ocean to continent. We're gonna watch the Andes Mountains form. This is a good example. We're gonna go to South America. On the left, we have the Nazca plate and on the right, we have the South American plate. The Nazca plate is consists of oceanic crust, which of course always subducts underneath the continent because it's denser. And then in this subduction zone, right, we're melting this ocean crust and it's rising up and it's making these volcanoes on the continent. And this is a volcanic mountain chain, the Andes Mountains. And then finally, the last one we'll look at is a collision of continent to continent. The Himalayas are always a fantastic example for this. Now, in this image where continent collides with continent, I just want to show you that prior to the collision, there was water, an ocean in between the two um, a long time ago. And so at first, you know, 60 million years ago, they say, we have to get rid of that ocean crust. So you can see it's subducting and on the Eurasian plate, it's making volcanic mountains. Now we can see India coming into view. Now, India will finally will hit land hitting land so that all that ocean that was between them is now gone. So see us, we got rid of that ocean and now we have land hitting land. Now, once we have land hitting land, all these that, you know, they used to be volcanoes, those are going to dry up because nothing's being subducted anymore. So we're not going to make volcanoes anymore. And so present day, we just have this collision of these two land masses and continent can never be subducted. So the only place we have to go is up. And so that's why those mountain ranges are so enormous.